if you scoop the flour into the measuring cup, it's going to pack the flour entirely too much into the cup. And you don't want to do that with this particular recipe. So we're going to spoon the flour in and drop it until we get the measurement we want. Now that we got the measuring cup high, we can smooth it off. There you are. Just like so. This is spoon and sweep flour measurement of one cup. We're going to do two of those. Are you ready for the ingredients? Truffle banana nut bread, which includes pineapple. So we're going to be using a combination of walnuts and pecans. So we have one cup of pineapple tidbits. These are fresh. You can use canned, but if you use canned, cut the tidbits up. They're a little too big. And it wouldn't be banana bread if we didn't have bananas. These are four very ripe bananas that when mushed up, we should have about one and one half cups. We're gonna have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Three quarter cups of oil. Grapeseed oil or olive oil would be good, canola oil as well, but I'm using avocado oil. Two large eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. If we were going to be using macadamia nuts, we'd probably only use about a half a cup. I like nuts. I'm using a whole cup. We're having two nuts, a walnut and a pecan. All bananas should have two nuts. It's okay if they don't. It's perfectly fine. Two cups of all-purpose flour, measured out with the spoon and sweep method so that the flour is not heavily packed in the measuring cup. We're still going to sift this into a larger bowl with our other ingredients. We have our pan buttered and floured, and we have our oven set at 350 degrees. We want the pineapple tidbits as dry as possible. We don't want them dehydrated, of course, but we want them dry. We want to get a lot of that moisture out. One of the rare opportunities that I actually use paper towels. We're going to start our mix with the sugar, our oil, and our eggs. Now, if you've noticed, I am following a recipe I have gotten off a line to add the uh, pineapple and the other ingredients to make it the, to make it the uh, tropical banana bread. I don't follow directions very well. So understand that there are some creative licenses being exercised here and you have the freedom to do the same thing too. My goodness, is that not a limp banana? Good Lord. They say the Lent bananas are just as sweet as the ones that are firm. 
and they're supposed to be just as good for you. Maybe with these bananas being used, the fruit flies will leave my house. Um, don't you hate it when fruit flies are on bananas? Ugh. Just terrible. The oil, the sugar, the eggs, the vanilla. And the mashed bananas. I like a good whisk. I didn't say whip. That looks pretty beat up. I think that's good. Set that off to the side. We have our baking powder. Our baking soda. That actually might be vice versa. The only one I'm sure of is the salt. We're going to sift it into our bowl. thought I was going to need that second sifter, but I don't think I do. And there we go. The one thing about banana bread is you don't want it too cakey. So I don't like mixing this too terribly much. I want to fold it and fold it. We're going to add the pineapple and the nuts right before you get ready to toss it in the oven. We want to mix it up real good. We don't want any dry spots, but we want to keep some air in there. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. All right. I actually think these nuts are a little on the large side, so let's take a moment and chop them down just a tad. Okay, we've added our walnuts in there. I think that's plenty fine. There we go. You don't want to waste a good nut. So let's make sure that we get every little morsel out of there. There we go. Satisfaction. Now our pecans. Mmm. And then of course we're going to add the fruit. More fruit. Well, I got to tell you, it is looking fruity and nutty. All right, that is enough steering. We want it nice and lumpy and thick. We're going to spoon this out into our loaf pan. You know, there is an icing that I can make to go on this. You know what? I might do that. Let's get all of that nut sauce off of there. Clean our spatula. We'll do two heaping cups. A lot of banging going on. It ain't even a Saturday night. We're going to start our icing, and this is going to be the special ingredient, amaretta. We're only going to start with about an ounce and a half of it. We're going to use that just to add moisture when we need moisture. We have two cups of confectioner sugar. May or may not be enough. We'll add more if we need to. One cup of crushed pineapple. Unfortunately, I did have to use the can, but we want it juicy. We're using all of that juice to make the icing moist. Half a cup of chopped pecans. 
one teaspoon of vanilla. Am I supposed to add butter or milk to this, I wonder? It's going to be more like a glaze. Add a little bit more powdered sugar. We're going to go ahead and add a half a cup of melted butter now. I am trying to remember this recipe from 30 years ago and I cannot remember all of the details. I know it only had about four ingredients and for the life of me, I don't know what those four ingredients were. I know it was powdered sugar and pineapple and pecans. And if you wanted to, you can add amaretta. But for the life of me, I don't remember if it needed butter or heavy whipping cream or milk. Oh, you know what? I think it's supposed to be cream cheese. Let's taste this one more time and see if we need to add a block of cream cheese. That's definitely an improvement. Now that we have our pineapple, sugar, vanilla, and butter sauce, we're going to cream some cream cheese, and then we're going to add all of that together and finish off with the pecans. So this is one cup of unsalted butter added to the previous ingredients of the pineapple, sugar, and vanilla. all the difference in the world. Now let's taste that. It actually looks more like it did 30 years ago. That's it. That's the recipe. And add our pecans in there and just a tad of amaretto because I got to save some of the amaretto for me. All right, and we're going to just use the hand wisp to get all this in. Oh my God, that's the recipe. I hope you've noticed that I have a video posting just about once a week. Usually it's Friday afternoon, somewhere in mid-afternoon, targeting about 3 o'clock. I hope that I can keep that pace up, so stick with me. If you have any ideas of what you would like to see cooked in the kitchen, be sure to leave a message down below. Like, subscribe, share, and just come in for the fun. Bye now. Mm. Tastes just like a monkey threw up on it. Mmm. It's very tropical. I'm going to need a shot of amaretto with this.